Hello everyone and welcome back to Egypt. This is Lurkis Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Origins. We are in Crocodilopolis and we are tracking the mystery of the sick crocodile of the Temple of Sobek. We infiltrated a camp or rather a dock um, and assassinated a so-called healer um, or at least herbalist. And we're now to return back to the Guardian and tell him about the poisoning of the crocodiles. Uh, we will head through this lake or pond again. I guess pond is what you'd call it. Hey there. Guardian of Sobek, the sickness was not an omen from the gods. Your crocodiles were poisoned, but they will recover. Poisoned? Are you sure? By whom? They will pay with their lives! Your own priest Sehetep was responsible. He's trying to increase offerings from your followers. What? Sehetep is Sobek's right hand. He will never do this. What you are saying is blasphemy. Ah, you priests. Forever holding to your superstitions. You have been told the truth. The gods themselves will judge what you do with it. Oh, that's it? I should let Padia set know about Sehetep. He is not going to like it. Who's Padia set? Bad faith. Speak to Padia set, priest of Sobek. He is near the Sobek temple, south of Crocodile Opus. South of it? Oh, okay. At the southern end of Crocodile Opus. Cool. Um. I guess we could do that. We probably get a quest to assassinate that guy afterwards, which we could still do. Uh, we're still trying to reach level 30 here. Um, and then we can pick up the Fighting for Fayum quest again. And at 31, we can head up way north. Now, doing this though, before we head over to Bubastos again, which would be here. Um, I definitely want to do this area, get this um, golden question mark. I'm interested in these lookout points too, but if nothing leads there, we might skip that and I will go and explore that some other time. But for now, yeah, let's follow this lead and tell this priest here. I would have assumed that's where the quest leads us anyway. Um, turns out we get a follow-up quest, which will give us more XP in turn, so we will be okay with that. We cannot call Apophis here. Interesting. Probably because we're on temple grounds. But then this is a street again. Yeah, okay. There he is. Hello, Apophis, old cursed friend. Um, there also seems to be Raida the merchant, whom we are gracefully ignoring all this time. Hello, soldiers. So this is another temple to Sobek. What has happened? Seems. What's going on? This just looks like offerings. So there must be something over here. Oh yeah. May you walk in the land of the Duat. Sobek be merciful to you. Maat find you worthy. But they look like Sobek. Greek soldiers, Sobek though. Ptolemy soldiers, at green least. Plumage. The splashing one who came from the great goddess of sunlight. Forgive our weaknesses. Are you Padia said? Medjai, you are late. Sehetep's men came to kill me. So oh. I see. Not bad for a priest to abhor bloodshed. I was not always a priest. I thought I had escaped all this. Sehetep and I found faith together. Joined the temple together. I knew his struggle just as I did. But I have to stop him now. You cannot be seen to move against him. Not if the cult is to survive. A priest killing a priest looks bad. I should do this. You are right. You will find him at the Northern Temple. I will meet you outside. Wow, cool. Okay, so they are Ptolemy's soldiers, it seems. Since the guy is working for Ptolemy. Well, let's head up north again, where we just came from. And it definitely makes sense that we do this for the guy. 
So yeah, that is pretty much back to the temple complex we just came from. Hello, guys. Corset, huh? You are on the wrong side of Sobek, traveler, and in the wrong place. Am I? Well, I ride Apophis. The curses to Dromedar. Is this it? Am I fighting the whole town now? I might be. I guess let's just ride through and see where this goes. Will all the soldiers... Yeah, they will all attack us now. Interesting. So let's just be quick about killing this guy and then try to disappear. We're to call Senu here. Let's, um... See if we can't disappear somewhere, like here. Don't want them to find me while we're out with Senu. The guy is in there. So this isn't a restricted area, but um... It could be that the soldiers stationed here attack us now. We will see. We'll make our way in here. That seems pretty um, cool to get in here. I was going to say pretty easy, uh, which, of course, we can climb everything. But, um, yeah, we can enter from the top there. Actually, let's take a look from way up here. Yeah, okay, so that's just the temple ground pretty much. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. And also, I reminded myself, <laughs> um, not only have we more gear um, that we could just... It's not gonna be of any consequence. So we can just get rid of these markers. Um, we have a bunch of crafting materials. We can increase our melee damage, which I think is very much worth it. We'll do that. We're now purple, which is not too bad. And uh, we also have ability points, and I've been looking around a little bit, and um, this one caught my eye, smokescreen. Press R after melee attacking or dodging to drop this powder. It stuns nearby enemies and creates a smoke screen. Smoke screens can break line of sight. So we might be able to sneak from that. Uh, and it's certainly another way out of some of the situations, you know, I've gotten ourselves into <laughs> um, recently. So we'll do this, um, see how that works. And then that leads into Pyromaniac, which also costs only one ability point, And our fire damage is increased by an additional 50%. Now our arrows all do fire damage as far as I know. At least the... not the predator bow, but the other bow does. Um, so I'll do this. And um, that's all our ability points gone, but um, we'll use that. So let's see if we can get in here without drawing. Of Sobek. Sehetep is inside. You will be well guarded. Okay. Without drawing any more attention. Let's climb this old crocodile here. This area is off limits. That's you of Sobek. Uh, can we cross here? Seems no. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. We'll get in here. Let's also call Senu. And see if we can mark anyone in here. There's the scroll. There's enemies. There's something over here that is treasure. Crocodile. And this seems to be a secret entrance. Seno's perception is really pretty good already. Yeah, we can even see the treasure over there. That's all fine. But like in here immediately. There are some, but that's also just the entrance. Oh, there he is. Guarded by some people. Okay. 
We'll make our way in here. Maybe pick up that scroll. Oh. Are these open? Yeah, they are working. These stones here look like it was closed, maybe. Let's parkour inside. And drop. I have the scroll here. Might as well read it. Sobek's Rage. East of Crocodilopolis, south of the Shattered Pyramid, a large beast of a god stares angrily at a pharaoh who shows him no respect. I'm hidden behind the blasphemous head. Huh. Sounds like it's somewhere near the Necropolis of the 13th Dynasty, which is something we're heading towards. has gained the help of a strong ally. The Magi who raided our city. Who is he? By what right do you touch me? I Ooh. So they are fighting priests here. <laughs> it is done. Faith turns to treachery far too often, it seems. I should meet Padiaset. Alright. Let's meet with him. Will these guys oh yeah, this is a restricted area, so let's um make our way out of here in a different way. What can we interact here? Bless my child, Dua Sobek. Daughter of the splashing waters, favor my unborn child. Give him a skin as fair as his father, and not skin like my own, Dua Sobek. I will give we weekly offerings or my life a sacrifice if that is your will. Whatever you want, that is what I will do. For a better life awaits a fairer child. Huh. Sounds like the Egyptian mother to a half Greek child. It's a shame that racism is uh, so easily exercised, really. Because that's what it is. It's easy to distinguish people based on skin color, and that's why it comes up all the time and all the way throughout history. There's lots of treasure around here that we could use to also uh, climb some levels, gain some XP. So we'll talk to this guy and then head east. Think the Magi will succeed? Yeah. Zetep chose death. Then it had to be. I lost a brother today. If I had acted sooner, he might have been restored. Faith cannot be passive. This is my lesson. We will rebuild what has been damaged. But what of the soldiers? They had a hand in all this. They will always meddle. But stay strong. They know now not to mess with the temple. Sobek has warriors too. You honor me, Magi. May Sobek honor you. Hmm. Awesome. That could get us to level 30. It does. Very good. We gain one more ability point. Oh, the Staff of Sehetep. Scepter. Let's check that out. Out of curiosity. Um, it's here. Is that a two-handed weapon? Fast and long reach. Hey, let's try that out instead of Divide. It seems... Well... The DPS isn't stronger. Combo multiplier, health on kill, health on hit. It seems DVD is just straight up better, but we'll try it out. Mostly I'm just curious if that is... Yeah, it seems to be. Cool. We'll use that for a while. Um, could get some of the treasure in this area. Two treasure, two treasure. Um, but yeah, we don't know where this whole Bubastos thing heads. Uh, so we'll still find things to do in that area. We will head over here and get the lookout point at this necropolis and see what it's all about. Yes? You're know, right, Apophis. He was angry last time. <laughs> Uh-huh. The Greeks have joined us in worship of Serapis. 
Now they have joined us as citizens of Crocodile. Mm -hmm. So they're building bridges everywhere, which makes sense so they don't have to wade through the rivers as much anymore. But um, it's interesting how that was accepted at the time. Like, Egypt is a warm place, so I'm sure it's kind of refreshing walking through the river every now and again. But um, here we are getting close. There is a, an attack here. Let's help out with the... Oh, wow. With that. <laughs> Might have to call Apophis up there again. We'll see. Where are they? Come here, buddy. Hmm. It's like DVD dealt more damage than this. Oh, we protected him already? Well, now we uh, did it twice. <laughs> Alright. Well, Mr. Rebel, you're welcome. Let's call Apophis up here. Oh. Can we do it again and get more XP? Come here. Yeah, get off your horse. Okay, maybe not. Still someone. Oh, there. Boom. There we go. And yet another one. Nope. Good job, Mr. Rebel. Um, but that's enough now. Like, there's again someone? Let's just get out of here. We got his XP twice, um, so that's good. Now let's see, it's a pretty fertile area here. We got XP again. <laughs> it's very welcome. Horus Gnome. Let's head over to the lookout point first. There's lots of building projects going on here. Very interesting. It's like a middle kingdom acropolis and palaces and stuff. But what speaks against picking these up again, these old buildings? That is one of the themes we see throughout history. Different people pick up... Um, buildings and ruins of temples that were there before them. I feel like we might be close to the entrance to that tomb or something that the golden question mark might allude to. Is this something we should be jumping into? What do you think, Apophis? Uh, in any case, I think we might return here. And take a look at the map where exactly that golden question mark seems to be. It might just be here. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's head in here and get the lookout point afterwards. Maybe it leads us up up there. Who knows? Tomb of Amenemhat the Third. Yep, that is Middle Kingdom 13th Dynasty, 1700 BC. Um, I mean, to put that into context, that is about close to a thousand years younger than what we are told about the Great Pyramids of Kavre and the works that Kavre most likely has done on the pyramids. This pyramid was built way after with smaller brick. Um, didn't notice that on the outside, but they used smaller bricks during this time, likely because those building techniques with the large stone blocks were lost over time. This isn't a pathway. Um, and it was probably, you know, built to look like the Great Pyramids, and it was legitimately a tomb, for all I know. Now, there's still people who say there might this might have been an earlier structure and it has been reused as a tomb. It could be. There could have been many pyramids throughout not only Egypt but the world. Like we all know the uh, Inca pyramids, the ziggurats in Mesopotamia and things like that. 
What do we have here? Warning, unwary traveler. Do not break the seal or the sands of time will consume you. Oh, interesting. Does this stay the same? It does. So there might be sand leaking into here somewhere, somehow. Like I saw the openings into the lower areas that we can shoot our way into. It seems that's the way to go here. Okay, let's break the other one too while we're at it. Let's see what we have here. Oh, that would be one of the seals. Oh, I see. Morning on weird travel. Yeah, okay. So, just in case something happens here, planning our escape, let's shoot this. Whew. There we go. And get out of here. Okay, that lowered a bit, but nothing too terrible happened here. Alright, all good. So we can do that on the other side too. Very creepy in here once the torch is out. Alright. And with this... We are now free to pass. No signs of time, though. Um, since the seals were still intact, it's... You can assume that we are the first, well, tomb robber, let's face it, <laughs> to walk this part. And that trap doesn't seem to have worked very well with the signs of time. Ooh. Well, oh, that doesn't sound creepy at all. Release those in the image of him into the sacred pool on the third moon after the flood. The ritual must continue for three days to honor Sobek. Green of plume, watchful of face, raised of brow, the raging one who came forth from the shank and tail of the great one who is in the sunshine. Honor them with wolves, revere them, worship them, for they are his servants on the silt banks. Hmm. Right, I didn't get too much from that. Interesting. Are we fighting something in here? Very much feels like that. Hello, crocodiles. So they might have built this in honor of Sobek? Could be. There's more pathways here. Arrows. They're definitely useful. There's a crocodile. Whoops. Oh. One more. Oh, it's just one that survived still. Alright. Sorry it's so dark in here. No, <laughs> It's even hard for me to see. I'm sure on YouTube that turns out even darker. Let's fill up our arrows again. It's good that they have, like, you know, up-to-date, useful arrows uh, down here. And how did these crocodiles survive, too? Ooh. Oh, hello. So there must be an alternative entrance into here, huh? Oh, well, that doesn't deal much damage. Pulled out Fang, in case you can't see. 
I can't see what it's doing. If it's hitting us, we'll just have to take it. Alright. So this one is closed and the middle one there is closed. Is there anything in here? Now that the crocodiles are gone, doesn't seem to be the case. So we'll head this path over here. Turning right from where we entered into this chamber. And it goes way up. Alright, so we can assume that the other doorways there were in more recent use, likely. Because those crocodiles want to be feed, fed, sorry. <laughs> um, Alright. So we are above this pool now. I probably didn't have to kill them all, but kind of wanted to explore in peace. There's just some loot here. Um, this can't be the end, can it? Oh, that's likely how they fed them, huh? Just toss some stuff down here. But... Where is the part that I'm missing? Maybe up here. That looks good. Well, not so good anymore. <laughs> okay. And that's the entrance. Oh, I don't know. Like, I would assume there's a way to open those other gates and the chamber below us. But I currently don't know how. Let's take a look down there again. Like, there was surprisingly little up here. Just two normal loot areas. Weird. What's location objectives? Find the ancient tablet, yeah. That's what we're looking for. And based on that, it's likely behind this. Yeah, there's stuff to loot. Oh, wait. Is that another chamber that we can jump into from up there? I don't think so. How do we open those? Razors. Well, what if we light them? I don't think that has anything to do with the mechanism, but at least we'll see a bit more. <laughs> there isn't... Yeah, it's all over there. Oh, through the pond. What if we dive through here? No? Well, okay. But you can admit that it was a decent idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I will check upstairs again and see. But this one seems to have a statue in the middle. Maybe? We'll double check upstairs. These don't lead anywhere, no. A mystery it is, once again. <laughs> There's nothing here. Um, no. So it gives us a different location up here. Or we're like re entering. The location that is of interest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same pond that we are at down there. So we have to go this way somehow. And this looks like we're supposed to get up there, but then where do we go from there? There are no passages. I don't know. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere with this. Let's jump. Uh, 
Oh, it goes deeper. So my idea was good. The execution just lacked. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, different pathways. So that's treasure here. We have enough air cell. There's a tomb all the way down here. Interesting, so that might have been flooded later. Let's catch some air here. Oh, that's the tablet. Yeah, take your time, Bayek. Mm -hmm. The old kingdom. Underwater speechcraft once again. Oh, and we have full air again. So, let's see what's to the right. Might just be the exit. More chambers. And some normal loot here. Oh, it's silica. Still don't know what we need silica for. <laughs> uh, yeah, these don't go anywhere. Alright. So we'll head out in that other chamber there and see what we can find. There is something blue. Looks like a scroll. Oh, Sobek. We honor you. Amenemhat III rises as Sobek, the son of Neith. Eats with his mouth, urinates, copulates with his phallus. He is Lord of Seed, he who takes the women from their husbands wherever Amenemhat wants, according to the desire of his heart. Ah, uh, okay. He seems to have been a jolly fellow. There's some loot here. Carbon crystal. Okay, oh, here we have mummies. Seek in the buck toothed. Despoiler of the Black Sands and Ravager of Catfish. Priest Pehen guides him through the Wadi. Alright. Yep. Everything is clear now. What is this? Oh, that's just the red cloth. I thought it would have might have been blood. So that's the closed pathway there. I see the silica. Um, take it now. Um, but is there any other pathway or exit here? Can't really see up there. We can't climb these walls, so that's suspicious. Maybe the way out is just up here. Cool. And I'm certainly not missing anything down there, am I? No. Cool. Uh, so we can move this and we'll be... Quite a bit higher inside of the pyramid. Alright. Let's go. Or maybe not quite a bit higher. This looks like ground level. Yep, fair enough. So that's a tomb like way away from it. Or an entrance. Don't need the torch anymore now. Wow, cool. Pretty extensive temple complex to a Menemhat here. Um, whom this pyramid might be attributed to. And then these are all temple complexes from other Middle Kingdom rulers, I believe. Now these blocks look huge just like the Great Pyramids as well. I'm not sure if that is actually the case in Hawara, uh, but I might have to look that up. Or you can if you're really interested. <laughs> there we go. Making our way up a pyramid has never been this easy. Here we are. Crocodile Opalus in the background there. Synchronization complete. 300 XP. 
So we are on our way to level 31. And we will get on our way towards Bubastos. There's nothing else in this area. No question mark sites. Weird, like that could easily have been some treasure in these temple complexes. They're huge. Could make sense to explore them. Um, but hey, the map tells us there's not much. So we don't have to. Um, I think we will make our way around here. We will grab this lookout point. Uh, maybe take a look at this temple area. Reminds me almost of the areas or temples of Ramses, this layout. But I believe they would be further south. If we go further back here... How did that usually work? No, not like that. Oh, this. So if we go to the Valley of the Kings, we can't see the map yet, okay. But that would be where Thebes and Ramses um, temples are, most of them. Anyway, we're heading over there. 900 meters! We'll be there in no time. Whoa. Okay, interesting move. Let's just get down here. Alright. We'll call a Pophis and maybe cut through to the path that goes along north of this area. Pophis? I mean, I always wonder how he hears us whistle. There he is. From like, way back in... You know, wherever we leave him. Anyway, let's ride, buddy. Oh, there's a horse? There's a random horse, everybody. Oh. Hey, dude, what are you doing here? Hi. Do you need any help? He looks like one of the rebels. There's other horses. They're like... Are you ambushing someone? Mm, okay. Good luck, guys. Oh, there's a camp here. But these are also not marked by question marks. It's a destroyed camp. People seem to know me. Wow, that's like... Busy here, too. Interesting. Maybe... Um, the quest from here, following Hotifres and stuff, will lead around this way. Who knows? We'll find out. So we want to go to the path up there and then cut through the mountains somewhere yeah, this way. Let's head back here. Cool. Little hidden settlement that doesn't even have a name on the map. Let's go here. Path must be like somewhere here. Now we have a chariot that's carrying bronze. We need bronze. So here we go. He is attacked by a hyena. Shield me, brothers. I must not fail. There are no brothers here. So you know, buddy. Alright. 30 bronze is a lot. Let's check our crafting menu here. Yeah, we can increase hidden blade damage. What else do we need bronze for? For gloves, increase range damage. I would like to do that. We need two more fur um, for that, or soft leather. Uh, which we could get from this hyena, even. That did it. Gave us one soft leather, and then I, s I did see goats or sheep or something in the behind us, but I'm sure we will find something else on the way to this lookout point here. There's like some ruins or old temples. Uh, do we get... Oh, hello! No, wait, those are... Do we get... Um... No, we won't get leather from vultures. Never mind. That would have been a stupid question, but there are no stupid questions. 
uh, whatever. These are all dead here. Hunted. By someone interesting. I wonder if there's a quest concerning that somewhere. We have a lion that will only give us fur. But we kinda need fur too. See what we can do with a pophis here. There he goes. Five pelt. Okay, decent. Interesting areas. Are these all question marks? We even have a golden question mark way down here. We will do that. Absolutely. That's where I'm taking this episode. <laughs> is discovering more stuff. Cool. So here we have a lion lair. Okay. I'm up for it. Wow, there's many lions though. This is definitely the way to fight lions though. On our friend Apophis. So the mister of the group is done. One more down and a new one seems to have joined us. Hmm. All right. Does that clear the area? Doesn't seem like it. There's one more inside. Sorry guys. I mean, it does feel a bit bad. But if this is what the game wants us to do, one more. Oh, you're the leader. Okay, can we fight outside? Come on over here. Oh, she's a white lion. Alpha female, huh? The queen of the area, so to say. Um, Bayek? There we go. Alright. Lion lair done, and we might have fur forever now. Can loot this. Wonder whom these temples were dedicated to once. Seems to be just some pharaohs or even queen. It looks like a female figure there. Anyway, the lookout point is up on this structure. Let's get there. Take a look into the southern valley here. That I'm suddenly very interested in. Back at the banks of the Nile, returning from Fayum. Down there, that looks like temple complexes that are actually in use, being maintained at the moment. Let's jump. And then we'll make our way down there to that golden question mark for more tomb uh, exploring. Certainly not rubbing, no. Tomb Rebels were bad people, right? Absolutely. Hermopolis is here. Let's see if we can find a somewhat con convenient way down here. A low cave. Let's check this out. It's a proper cave. Leading under some temple, maybe? Oh, crap, what is this? Hidden camp? 
Do we? Do we do this? I don't know if there's anyone else who sees the guy down there. Temple archives. Wow. For a moment, I thought this guy might have might be a Roman, like a secret Roman camp or something. But um. Okay, temple archives. Oh, hi guys. Stuff's burning. Okay. Let's see this treasure here. So we must have found like the most back entrance of back entrances to these archives, and we already cleared them. Oh damn, Temple of Toth. Awesome! Toth was the god of knowledge. Oh, we can break through this. What's in here? I must admit, that was a really cool way of finding this place. Like, we were kind of making our way here. Above ground and stuff. But this was cool. Let's, let's scroll over here, it seems. Oh, this is the restricted area again. Temple Archives. Let's loot everything. Including this. Commendation from the Nomarch of Fayum. I would like to extend thanks to the Hermopolis Temple for embracing the Greco-Egyptian deity Hermes Trismegistus. The union of a Greek and Egyptian god represents a new culture and is better than the old Egyptian ways of Toth. Temple will be well compensated. A new age, a new Fayum, prosperity for all, security for all, culture for all, no mark. Well, this time he wrote his title correct at least. But, um, really? You want Hermes to take over this Temple of Toth? That's ridiculous. If I might say so. Is there anything else we can do in here? Hello there. Don't mean to disturb you. Toth's secret. Southeast of the city of Hermopolis is a, is a leopard's den in Wapnome. At the top of the territory lays a place where birds should live, but do not. If you take a leap of faith, you can find me. Interesting. In Wapnome? Hmm. Didn't mean to startle you either. Uh, there's another golden question mark, 400 meters that way, and then the 300 meters that way, obviously. That So, I don't know the entire extent of this temple to Toth. The question mark we've marked might be under this temple, but I want to take a look outside. Wow. I mean, look at this. This is really cool. Yeah, that looks like the... Um, the Ramzeon, I think, is the proper name of it. Ramzeon or something? Whoa! I did not mean to jump right away. Wanted to take a look. That's okay, yeah. Really cool interpretation too. Attributing this to Toth. I don't know if there's any archaeological, you know, historical evidence for this. Uh, but I certainly can't complain about this one. Let's see about these uh, question marks back here. And to be fair, we're reaching a point in time. We'll do this. If it's a long episode, it's a long episode. You guys will be cool with that, right? And if you don't want to see this, hey, this is your chance to skip it. Um, there's many golden question marks here. Man, I like it. Tasia's olive growth. Okay, okay. I mean, I won't stay there. I'll leave you guys alone. So, where is this? Oh, whoops. Careful there, Apophis. 
Let's go this way. That seems to lead towards us. There's a question mark here that is actually closer. Let's see about this. And maybe then we end the episode. Whoop, where did it go? Here. Yeah, ancient temple complexes. Oh, oh. Mr. No, I didn't want trouble. Oh, wait, do we have trouble? Yeah, we do. Okay. Whoa, two of you guys? Oh, well, that's okay. Didn't mean to disturb you guys like that. Interact. Beware all who would enter, for here lies Smenka Ray. Living are the forms of Ray. Smenka Ray? Not sure where to place him at the moment. Uh, likely Middle Kingdom as well. Could be older since, like, if this really was the Ramesseon, that would have been much further south. The Nile. Um, therefore, up the Nile. But, uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. We give you honor, Mary Tartan, consort of the King of Upper and Lower Egypt, Lord of the Two Lands, Anke Perure Smenkare Jezer Keperu, beloved of Aten, Anke Perure Nefer Neferawaten, daughter of Nefertiti. Mary Tartan is our queen in this life. And the next. Okay. So daughter of Nefertiti, that then dates this area to New Kingdom. Actually. Nefertiti was the wife of Akhenaten. Um, and they were likely the parents of Tutankhamun. So maybe we can find Tutankhamun's tomb down here as well, which is one of the largest well, I would say mysteries, but really, um... Poex probably... ...describes it well as well. So, um... What is it that we're looking for in here? The ancient tablet. Okay, probably down there. And probably we should climb. Yeah. Okay. As the video goes on and on, but that's okay, guys. That's okay. Oh, crap. Okay, we're diving. It's so good that there's always a little bit of light underwater for some reason. Oh, shit. Where does this go? Oh, wow. We'll definitely have to go back and explore that other chamber. Like, is this a proper labyrinth? If so... Oh, there's air up here. Ooh, yeah, see how dark it is up here? So where does this lead? There's the other golden question mark. So these might all be connected. Reminder, oh, cotton weights are affected by stuff, yeah. Wow, we're like... Damn, this is so extensive. Second day of Param Hot. I cannot sleep, I cannot eat. There is only those who came before. I have taken my men and we will not return. The paintings will never be finished. The inscriptions never written, for nothing will compel us to return to this god's forsaken place. Strange. Okay. I'll tell you what, guys. I'll end the episode here. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Tomorrow. Bye, guys.